Hey what's up guys, it is Saiku or Sam here and welcome back to another episode of Asset Reviews in Unity. In this episode we're gonna be looking at the asset called Medieval Environment Pack. This has been a very popular asset created by manufacturer K4, so if you're if you're already aware of this asset's existence, I'm not really gonna doubt that and I won't be worried either. But it's an incredible asset created by manufacturer of K4, it goes under the 3D model pack in the asset store. I personally use this asset for a lot of my speed level design because I really don't feel like there are any limits or boundaries to using the prefabs that fall within this asset. Because there is just a huge variety of different models that actually fall within this asset. And that also means that you're gonna be able to use these models for pretty much any kind of level design, any kind of game you're making. But obviously, as the name suggests of the asset, it's obviously primarily used for medieval games. And therefore, if you're actually creating a medieval game, you might want to check this asset out because you're gonna be able to use it very frequently. Now, with that being said, let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons that follow within this asset as well. And first and foremost, let's get started with the pros. So you get a lot of high quality with all the prefabs and the different models you get. And there is just a high variety of different types of models and textures you can use. There are grasses, trees, bushes, um, houses, there, there are, you know, literally props, lanterns, everything. And speaking of which, it's it also has pretty much everything you need for a level, especially if you're creating a medieval level. So it has props like lamps, tombstones, torches. In the demo scenes, you can also find incredibly detailed levels that are created. Um, there are good quality castle models, which are which is actually very unique in Unity as a store because I personally couldn't find a lot of different, you know, castle models, etc. So when I found out that Medieval Environment Pack actually includes a castle, I it was I had already had purchased it, but it was a like definite buy for me then. And that's primarily because I am always using castles in my scenes. They are incredibly fun to build, but it's also very beautiful when you're actually using them in the right way in your scenes. Speaking of buildings, there are also modular buildings in this asset pack, which is a huge bonus for me. If you watch my previous episodes of this series, you already know this, but um, having modular buildings is just a relief for literally anyone using the asset pack. And that's mainly because you're then not just limited to whatever the author gives you in the asset pack that you purchase, which is good. You know, all the quality in the asset is actually incredible. The houses that are pre-built are very, very good. But when you have modular buildings, you're able to freely express your creativity inside of your scenes by using the assets that are already created by the authors but also model your own pretty much in Unity. So it's a lot of, you know, it's a fun way of actually expressing your creativity like I mentioned earlier. And it's also a very good way of not making a repetitive scene because obviously it's a popular asset and that means that a lot of people are going to use them in, your, in their games. And when you have modular buildings, you can actually edit, you can make sure that your game sticks out and becomes a little bit more unique than the other ones. Speaking of editing guys, there's also texture customization support in this asset. And this is just incredible because the author this time with this point, the author really proved that he actually cares about people creating by themselves also. So he not only wants to give you the models or they, well, because manufacturer is a company, but not only do they want to give you just the assets and be like, okay, you purchased it, you know, go ahead and use it. But they also want to make sure to give you and grant you the tools that are required for you to edit their own models a little bit further so that you can make sure that it's unique to your game and not just generally used all around. And with that being said, let's get right into the cons. I actually can't find any cons about this asset because I love it by myself as well because I use it very actively. But one thing that really annoyed me at first, to be completely honest with you guys, is the fact that prefabs for torches and lamps don't exist with pre-built fire you must hunt them in the demo scenes or make them by yourself which is no hassle like it's not a big deal but it's a detail missed by a very extremely detailed asset. By no means, however, is this like a big deal where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna refund the asset or whatever. It's just, you know, it's a lazy thing for me that I really focus on. And I also read the reviews on the asset store page of the asset and a lot of people are actually picking on this. So I, I was glad to see that I wasn't the only one nitpicking, but you know, I mean, it's like I said, it's just a lazy thing that I really focus on but it's like a it's an incredibly detailed asset 
that really misses out a detail like this. And it, you know, the prefabs for fire and the torches, etc., are already in built in. So why not just have them in the prefabs folder as well? together with the torches and the fires built in. All right, so that was pretty much it for the cons part of this video, guys. And now we're gonna get into something called developer response, which is pretty much how frequently the author and the developer is responding and replying to all these uh, reviews on the asset store page. And not only that, but also how frequently the asset seems to be updated. So first and foremost, the asset was originally released 6th of February in 2013. The current version is 1.3, and and it was released September 5th of 2017. However, the author is not responsive at all at the asset store page from what I can see because he's not been responding for literally years. Like he's been getting a lot of different reviews on the asset store page but no review whatsoever from Manufacturer K4, which is quite unfortunate because they are very popular and I feel like they have the resources to put into communication with their fans and their customers that are actually paying money for their assets. I also read quite a few reviews that point out the fact that they haven't been receiving any emails back from the authors as replies to their own mails regarding support. And that's actually, you know, a little bit sad to see because Manufacturer K4, like I said earlier, they are very, very big. And I mean, the name is in like big enough for them to put some resources into this, I feel like. But I'm not here to judge. It's just a review. So I can't really say anything about this. I've been using the assets for without any problems by myself. So I don't really feel like I need their support right now. But if I had any issues with the asset, I would obviously turn myself to them. And if I didn't receive any you know, replies to it, I would be a little bit sad. But luckily enough, the asset seems to be ha or have been updated like finally from what I can also see here. Uh, because the asset doesn't seem to be very regularly updated, especially since it's just version 1.3 right now. And what I can see, they just updated the PBR from the release notes that they have released on the asset store page as well. So I can't really seem to find anything in regarding what I should expect from this asset, but once again, uh, the asset is also very old, like it was released for four years ago, but at the same time, it's so popular that I would actually expect that they do update it quite regularly at least, so that they, at least like the asset is, you know, usable in the latest version of Unity and they make sure that it is actually usable. But at the same time, I feel like they should at least have a little bit more communication with their fans. But at the same time, I'm not here to judge, like I said, it's just a review, but it's also this, at the same time, it's also what I think of this. So I also want to share my personal thoughts with you guys a little bit at least because I do have that kind of communication with you guys. So, um, but overall, I do like the asset, but this is pretty much the only part that I'm nitpicking at. Before we get into what actually comes and follows within the asset, I want to talk a little bit about the price. The price right now is at 78.16 euros. And I feel like that price is actually pretty good. Like it's a pretty, pretty complete asset to be honest with you, because not only does it have modular buildings, you know, texture customization so that you can make your own, not make your own models, but you know, edit the models that also come within the asset, but they also have good quality castle models. They have trees, bushes, grasses, everything that we talked about regarding pros. And literally, it's, it just feels like a very complete asset. And when I'm using this medieval environment pack in my speed level designs, I don't feel like throwing in any other assets at all. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what actually follows within the assets. So first and foremost, here we are in my Unity. I was about to say, here we are in my garage. <laughs> Ty Lopez means. Um, here we are in Unity. I have a project that I already used for my speed level designs. But most importantly, we had a medieval environment pack right here. So this is the main folder and we have a add-ons folder right below that. And when we open up the prefabs folder, you will realize that we have uh, quite a few banners, some barrels, etc. And these are pretty much the props that you can use inside of your scenes. And literally there are tombstones, there are torches, wagons. Um, like I said, there are stalls, chests benches, like literally everything. And as you can see, they are also quite high quality. Oh, it's clipping through. So I really like this asset because of this. It's very organized as well. And speaking of which, you also have a lot of versions of them. So if you want to make a little bit more optimized level, because it's a huge level, you're going to be able to use the lots as well. Um, you also have the sources. So if you want to edit them in Blender or whatever, you can use the models pack. Uh, or the models uh, folder so that you can actually edit them. 
you also have the buildings folder. So this is pretty much my favorite folder because I believe this is where we have the castles, if I am not wrong. Uh, it should be, yeah, we have towers. Um, then we have some other castles also. And we have quite a bit of prefabs, as you can see, like it's literally so filled with like content, it's just incredible. Uh, these three animations are created by me, so you can ignore them. But basically, you just have, like I said, so many different things that you can actually add into your scenes. Some of these are almost like add-ons, so that you can actually build your own modular uh, prefabs you can make. Um, as you can see, there are windows and everything like that, so you can actually take your time when creating your levels and uh, or constructing your levels, rather to say. And by using these models, you're going to be able to express your creativity quite a bit. We also have uh, the same folders, like I said, for the prefab slot and the source, uh, which is good because you can always edit them as well. So then we have my one of my favorite folders as well. This is one. This one is called demos, and the demo scenes are incredible for this asset. I just really love them. And they are very, very well handcrafted, I guess you could say. Um, you can use them to check out the tombstones and like a, how a graveyard is created by using the asset packs, tombstones and all that. And they also come in different shapes and sizes, I was about to say, but they come in different types of time of day. Um, so one of them, like the graveyard them itself has a village quite near it and you have a night time right there. So it's almost like a horror game example. And then you have a castle where it's like a dawn level. It looks really beautiful. And um, you also have a test scene. And I believe demo six was for the asset preview. So you can use it to preview all the assets that are available if I'm not mis misguided. But otherwise you also have the folders to drag and drop every single one of your assets. So it's not a problem. Um, then we also have the ground textures. We also have the grasses in here. You can see that we have five different textures for the grasses, which is more than enough for me at least. But I still throw in some of my, you know, other assets because I purchased so many. Um, but you also have the ground textures for your terrains. And I also want to compliment Manufacture K4 here because their, their ground textures are incredible. The normal maps make them look really realistic. You also have the particles folder. Uh, you have the, you actually got some birds, etc. in this pack. So you can see that they're actually flying right through. And they look pretty good when you actually want to just flash them through a scene that you're creating quite quickly. Um, I really like using them. There are also smokes, you know, ripples, sparks, waterfall. Uh, the waterfalls are also looking very good. One was actually for the waterfall itself, if I'm not mis uh, if I'm not wrong. These are for the splashes. I believe there's one for the actual waterfall too, like an animation for that. Um, then you have the textures too, so that you can edit them as well. Um, then you also have rocks folder. And I also really like the rocks that are following in this asset. Uh, oh, and I also have, <laughs> ironically enough, I actually messed up the materials for this asset, so I just had to re-import it. I actually forgot to do it before the video. Um, but I would apologize for that, but it's basically a rocks folder where you have quite a high quality rocks, but I still use some other assets for rocks as well because I do have them. Um, then we also have shaders, which is literally nothing interesting to me <laughs> because I never play around with shaders, but you have the folder if you want to, uh, if you want to check out the shaders that they're using here. Um, we also have the sky, so we have two different sky boxes that you can use, like I said, for one which is the dawn sky, and one where it's kind of like cloudy, um, then you also have this night one, I guess this was for a night if I'm not wrong, um, or else you can use the demo that was following within, so you're going to be able to get that night sky uh, right there. Then we also have trees, we're closing up here. Uh, we can open up the folder, and as you can see, I messed up the materials for my level designing, so they're just going to show pink here. But basically, these are very good trees. Uh, whichever I drag right now is going to be pink, which is ironic because I call them good. <laughs> but these are not, this is just an issue for me because I obviously mess up the materials, like I said. Um, but this is not going to happen for you, obviously. These are very, very high quality as well. I really like using these in my level designs. They look very good, especially when you combine them with like AA, anti-aliasing. They look incredible. 
Um, you also have the textures and the materials folder for that. And we also have the, uh, last but not least, we have the waterfall folder. So we have an exter external folder for this. This is what I was talking about. So you have the animation itself for the waterfall. It was not a particle. Um, I was actually thinking of a wrong thing, but basically it's a animation that you can play uh, upon playing the game. So it's a waterfall animation. And we should be able to see it as soon as the game starts and kicks in here. But it's actually pretty good that they include that in a different folder. And as you can see, you can have a waterfall like this. Um, so if you use this waterfall in a distant, like in a distance, it's actually going to look very, very good. Upon closing up with it, it's not that high quality, but at the same time, I really like using it for, rather than using nothing, right? It's gonna fill apart a big chunk of your scene too, so shouldn't be any trouble. But that's pretty much it, what follows within this asset. So we will now talk about who would I recommend this asset to, and also we're gonna go into conclusion, and then I'm going to roll in the outro. All right, here we are back. Uh, this is so, this is going to be quite cringy in the video, but it's actually pretty cool to do it when you're recording the video <laughs> but basically here we are um, now I'm just gonna talk a little bit further and then we're going to end this video because we're closing up to the end of it and basically I just want to say who would I recommend this to so if you're creating a 3d game a 2d game where you're gonna use a orthographic camera mode a 2.5d game like literally anything even a top-down game you're going to be able to use this asset pretty well because it's built in a way which allows you to use the 3d models the textures and all that to allow you to actually edit everything pretty much everything that follows within the asset so you're gonna have the resources folder if you want to be able to edit something externally like inside of blender or else you're just going to have the tools that are given to you by the authors so that you can actually edit the textures that follow within. You can edit the, you know, the buildings by using the modular building system that follows also. You're also not gonna need any other asset than this if you pick this up for the price, uh, which is incredible because you obviously don't wanna pay 78 euros and then go ahead and pay another 80 euros and then go ahead and another 20 euros. You know, you just wanna pay one, one time and get all this you're actually paying for and with the variety that comes within this asset and with the amount of prefabs you get with this asset you're not gonna have that kind of trouble where you're gonna search through the asset store and find something that suits you more than this if you're creating something that is similar to a medieval game you know in in the same genre pretty much so if you're creating something like that, go ahead and check this asset out. The links will be in the description down below as well if you want to find them out. So I know you guys are as lazy as me. <laughs> so go ahead and click the links and see this asset for yourself on the asset store page if you haven't already because this is a worthy asset IMO. And with that being said, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and also hit subscribe button if you wanna stay up to tune for new videos coming soon, like asset reviews, some tutorials. I also have a survival game, FPS survival game tutorial series on my channel. If you wanna watch it, I'm gonna link one of these episodes in the description down below. So if you wanna watch it, just click the link and you'll be right there. And with that being said, also leave a comment down below stating what you think of this asset if you're gonna pick this up if you have any other asset you would like me to review in a video let me know in the comments down below and preferably link it too so because i'm lazy like i said <laughs> and once again thank you so much for watching this video i will catch you guys in the comments down below see you guys peace out bye bye